Okay. Let's go to High Cliff. You're risking your entire ship by going out there, Captain. Ignore me if you will, but at least listen to your own men. We're leaving port right now. Nothing's stopping this shipment to Neverwinter, especially not a pack of lizard folk. What are you lot just standing there for? Bring up the sails! Man the oars! The fool is risking a ship worth ten times the cargo he's carrying. And for what? For the sake of a few extra gold for an early delivery. Greedy capitalist. Uh... Well, sailing the seas is always risky. Aye, but he's trying to set sail when we've got lizard folk going out of their way to sink every boat coming out of this village. The good captain is a fool to think he can sail out without drawing the attention of the lizards. Horror Master, out there! Looks like the lizard folk have themselves another victim. Rut row. Are they eating the boat from the from the uh, bottom up? The termites. And I think we've all learned a lesson here. If I say it's too dangerous to sail, it's too dangerous to sail. Oh. All right, lads. See what we can do to help those sailors. Let's just hope the lizard folk let them swim ashore. Sorry, but I've got my hands full here. Some of the other sailors should be able to fill you in. All right. Let's check the dock. Anything down this way? Nope. Oh. You know, the water actually looks pretty good. Grishnak. Go talk to Grishnak. You're a strange looking group. What do you want? Uh, we're looking for a ship that'll take us to Neverwinter. You and half the town. You ain't heard that no ships to Neverwinter. Hells, no ships in or out of High Cliff till they put a stop to the lizard folks and their sabotaging. I'm just standing watch while the men try to repair the double eagle. Again, we tossed nets down in the water last time, hoping to catch us some li lizards. It didn't work. Those lizards just cut their way through the nets and damaged the ship anyhow. Clever beasties, I'll give them that. So everyone's just stuck? Pretty much. Unless you're one of them crazies who likes to try to get anywhere on foot. Roads just aren't safe nowadays. Makes me glad I'm a sailor. Where are they coming from? No one knows. The village elders been poking around and our captain's been digging up rumors over at the inn. Nothing as of yet, though. Plus, people are nervous because one of the villagers went missing last night. All sorts of rumors flying around about undead and other nonsense. Things are just a big old mess right now. Where's the village elder? What do I look like, a tour guide? Go ask someone who actually lives here. Alright. Fair enough. I'm a busy man. Talk to Gishnak. Yeah, he didn't really want to chat either, dude. Wait. Oh, I get it. The town's called High Cliff, and it's high up on the cliff. Cute little town. Well, what's all this? A traveling circus? Easy. One of them's a harbourman. Harbourman, like I care what a swamp farmer can do. 
Seems the meteors are making of a joke in your floor. A dwarf, a tree worshiper, a demon, and a swamp smelling harbourman walk into a tavern. Well, now we may have walked in, but seems to be someone's about to go flying out. Uh, easy, Kelgar, let it go. Let it go. Did you hear what he called you? He might as well have asked us to break his legs right then. Our leader's right. We don't need the attention a fight will bring, and there's no reason to fight at all. No reason to fight? Are you mad? Of course there is. Aye, of course there is. The dwarf has it, right? You be quiet. Agree with me again, and I'll knock your teeth out. All right, all right. I was just saying I agree. That does it. I warned you once, and now you're going to regret it. How often does this happen? Trust me, things were slowing down a bit before we came here. Now it's back to normal. Alright, we're just fighting. Jesus. Well, look who showed up. I'll take care of you. Alright. What was that? Did Elaine just nuke him? Um, that turned out all right, I admit. Of course it did. We make a good fighting team. We didn't need to fight Kelgar. Next time, ran it in. It's hard to steal from someone when they think you're going to attack them. <laughs> Her fucking face. We're done making more enemies. Let's move on. I agree. Let's go. Fine. I, I say we try and find another tavern. There's bound to be more drunks needing a punch or two. Eleni just disintegrated their bodies. There's a tavern, there's a named NPC, more, Captain Flynn. You don't mind, I'm trying to drown my sorrows here. Are you the captain of the Double Eagle? Captain of a ship that can't sail? That's me. Get a rub salt my wounds, are you? Uh, my father Dagan said you could help me get to Neverwinter. Dagan, eh? Still playing farmer in that swamp village, is he? I'd be happy to grant you passage, but as you can see, we're all stuck here. No ships in or out of High Cliff on account of the attacks, which means I've got a shipment of cargo rotting at the docks that they'll let this mess it sorted out. And let me tell you, there's merchants in Neverwinter who'll have me hanging from the gallows if I can't get my cargo there, and soon. Yeah, we know it's lizard people. Uh... How do you know my father? Dagon and I adventured together for a while, you know, crawling around in dark tunnels, getting clawed and bitten just for a bit of gold. It was good to have around, kept calm under the worst conditions, and always had your back in a fight. Thing is, we both got tired of being punctured by nasties trying to keep us out of their lairs. I had enough gold saved up and got into the shipping business. Sounds like you led an exciting life. Sure, if you like getting poked, stabbed, and shot at. I've had my fill of running for my life. Now I get stuck in a village like everybody else. Mm. Can you just repair the ship and leave? I've already repaired it twice. Each time some lizard folk punches another hole in the hole without so much as a sound. I've got guards posted on watch all day and night, and it still keeps happening. Even tried nets. Who knew those walking lizards hated ships so much? Who can I speak to? I don't know. Try the village elder. Alright. Are you the elder? Well met. I'm Adario. If you need uh, armor, please let me know. I'm the only armorer in High Cliff. Okay. Uh, isn't lack of competition a good thing? I guess, but there really isn't much call for my work in a small town like this. Why don't you go to the bigger city? I'd need someone to work for first. In a big city, it'd be hard to compete with all the other armors who already have steady customers. Yeah. 
Concentration plus one on a helm. Sure, 19 gold. Let's buy it. Oh. Oh. Paladin helmet. Ooh, also concentration plus one. 19 gold. So let's get the paladin helmet. Probably better for like a cleric. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Horsehair, you can go to the druid. Yes. Actually, we need to... Ooh, a winged helmet. Buy that too. Let's just shop around and see what we got. Winged, pot... Yeah. Oh, too bad it doesn't show it on his head. I am certain. 